<coughs> Alright, so in the last video we set up a sphere as a target, which is a static mesh. We can also use skinned meshes. So inside of the LOS Pro standard assets I've included the Ethan model, which is an animated and skinned mesh. We can also make this our target. So first let's start by setting up a capsule collider for our, uh, for our Ethan model. Something like that. Um, and let's add the LS Pro site, site target 3D. Uh, it adds a rigid body, so let's make sure it's uh, kinematic uh, and disable use gravity. So if we set up automatic detection, we just make sure the observer says debug. If we use automatic detection, you can see at randomly grabs a few of the positions. So in this case it grabs the ankle and the knee. Now as great as this is we might want to detect the face or the arms so it's it's not super accurate. Uh, a way to fix this would be to use manual indexing type which allows us to define the positions where we want to raycast to. So we want to use all the um, extending parts of the body or whatever we're trying to detect. So in this case we would like to use both hands the head and both legs, and maybe uh, part of the torso as well. So if we go to the Ethan uh, body, we have the entire skeleton, and these are the bones that are inside of this uh, inside of this skin mesh, and we can use these uh, as ray casting positions. So if we grab the body and go to right shoulder, for example, we might want to use the right hand right here. Um, and as you can see, it adds a little red cube to it, and that's one of the ray casting positions now. So we also want to add the left hand, and you can drag as many in as you like, but uh, I would suggest keeping it below 20 for performance reasons. Uh, you want to add in the head, let's see, draw head one. Uh, and we want to add in both legs, or both feet actually. So now it will use these positions for ray casting, uh, and it will detect those instead of uh, randomly chosen points. Oh, it's ray casting to the left hand right now. So as you can see, it's only using a single ray cast uh, because the system has determined that it does only need a single ray cast in order to detect this target. Because on our observer, we have said that the minimal visible factor is 0.2 and we have five rays so with one ray we can already define that the object is visible enough. So if we add something that occludes the site, so we can add a cube for example, you can see that if we block this it's going to need another ray to define if it's visible or not. And if we block that one as well, you can see that the object is no longer visible and it tries to detect the object with as minimal rays as possible. 